friends, this is Caitlin, and I am so honored to be sharing with you a sneak peek of a stamp set and sequin mix coming out from Possum Stamps this week. This is the Oopsie Daisy stamp set and coordinating dies, which do come separately. I just have mine tucked into my little sleeve here. And this set is filled with gorgeous daisy images as well as some perfect sentiments for all year round, but I especially love that Happy Mother's Day. I also wanted to share with you the sequin mix. This is the Hello Sunshine, and you could say that I have a little bit of an obsession with the sequin mixes from Possum Stamps. This is my own personal collection, and if you ask me, they are the perfect mix. They have a really great range of sizes and colors, and I love using them as accents on my card, which we will be doing today. So this Oopsie Daisy stamp set is part of a new spring 2022 release that will be out on Thursday, March 17th. So I hope that you are getting super excited and we're going to stamp out this set today and make a card with it with some ink blending and that sequin mix because who could use a little bit of sunshine and sparkle? Spring is right around the corner and I am ready for it. So I stamped out a few of my flowers a couple times. I also stamped those leaves and the stems a couple times. I stamped way more um, flowers than I ended up using, but I have no problem having a backstock of stamped images ready for the next time I need to make a card. And one of the cutest things from this stamp set, because it is the oopsie daisy, is the oopsie daisy I forgot your birthday sentiment so having a few of these as backups in case I do have to make a last minute card you know it really can't be a bad thing so I stamped all of these out and I'm going in with my Copic markers to add some shading I decided to make white daisies with yellow centers but you'll see I also try out a few yellow daisies with white centers here at the end and I'm just focusing all of my shading towards the center and I'm using some very light gray markers and then just going in with my yellows and some nice yellow green shades for the leaves just to keep everything nice and fresh but this is a beautiful set because you can really customize this to be any shade just because they're daisies doesn't mean you have to stick with actual accurate daisy colors you can make these just gorgeous flowers in any shades or even your recipient's favorite shade which would be especially sweet for that Mother's Day card. I decided to stick with a pretty simple design today and used my um, images and my dyes pretty traditionally, but I did get a peek at some of the other work that the design team has been working on. And let me tell you, they are doing some absolutely amazing things with masking and layering this stamp set, as well as incorporating it with other sets that have been previously released and some of the ones that are coming out soon with this one. So I promise you, if you are not following Possum Stamps on Instagram, you are going to definitely want to get all over that because there is amazing inspiration coming in the next couple weeks. So definitely keep an eye out. So it was time to snip apart my dies. And I just wanted to share with you if you've ever been injured by your dies, this little tip, when you go to cut them apart, if you end up with any of those little bits that stick out, if you just hold them with your tweezers and spin your die, you don't have to worry about those little shards kind of flying out into space or hurting you or you stepping on them because I've absolutely done that before. And let me tell you, it was not fun. So if you haven't tried that trick before, definitely try it out and let us know if it worked for you. So once all my images were die cut, it was time for me to get to work on my card base. So I cut my eight and a half by 11 inch piece of paper in half just so I would get my card base as well as um, two panels, one that I'll use today and one that I can save for next time. And I'm just creating a standard A2 sized side folding card. And I'm going to borrow one of the sentiments from the macaroon stamp set that came out in February. And I'm going to just borrow that happy birthday and I'm stamping that in a medium gray ink just because I thought it would be a little bit softer and springier, I guess, than using a black, but obviously you can use whatever color makes you happy. To create the front panel for my card, I'm going in with two different yellow shades of oxide inks, making sure that they create a really nice gradient 
um, from the darker yellow to the lighter yellow and then eventually up to white. I'm also working on a full A2 size panel to start, but I am going to be trimming that down. I just find that it's easier for me to get nice clean edges if I ink blend my whole panel first and then trim it down to the size I want after. So you can see here, this is me trimming it down and I just cut, I believe, a half inch off of each direction. And I'm going to be taping that down to my white card base just to create this really nice white border. And I think that ties in so beautifully with these daisies. So you can see over there on the right that I did color up some of them yellow, but I decided in the end to just keep this card very simple. So I'm going to be using three of my daisies and I am stamping out a sentiment in that same gray ink that we used on the inside but I'm doing the Oopsie Daisy I Forgot Your Birthday just on a regular piece of white cardstock. And I'm trimming that down to be a nice little rectangle and I'm going to adhere that on the front with some foam tape just to give it a little bit of dimension and so that I can tuck my flower stems behind it just to kind of keep everything nice and clean and neat. So once I had the foam tape on the back of my sentiment and put that into place on the bottom and in the center, it was time to glue down my other daisies and that center daisy I'm going to pop up with foam tape as well. I just thought that because this whole um, card was so clean and simple, it would be really fun to play with adding a little bit of dimension. So the ones on the right and left are glued down flat with liquid glue and that one in the center is popped up and then it was time to get my stems and leaves in place. So I'm just trimming down those stems so that they kind of fit nicely underneath and I'll be gluing those down with liquid glue so that I have time to adjust them as needed to make sure that I have them nice and straight or in the spots that I wanted. And when I glued down those flowers um, with the liquid glue on the left and the right, I made sure not to put the liquid glue all the way to the edge so that I would be able to push up the little edges to make sure I could tuck my stems underneath. So I'm just using a little craft pick for that. And then this taller flower was actually a little too tall for the stems. So I am taking two stems and combining them into one. And it's really cute because once I have everything tucked into place, the spot where they meet is kind of under that middle daisy. So you can't even really tell that I made a little Frankenstein um, stem out of this. So I added my leaves on and I ended up putting two in the middle because to me that is just a quintessential daisy look. And then it was time to add some sparkle. So I grabbed that Hello Sunshine new sequin mix as well as my favorite tried and true dreamy days. And I added a few of each to both sides of the sentiment at the bottom, kind of playing around with tucking some under the sentiment and just letting it get lighter as it went up and using some of the smaller ones, but really kind of keeping all of the sequins on that bottom third. I just think it does a really great job at grounding the overall look. Well, that wraps up our sneak peek of the Oopsie Daisy stamp set, and I hope you're feeling super inspired. Make sure you hit that subscribe button so you don't miss out on future sneak peeks and inspiration, and make sure you keep an eye out for the new release coming out on March 17th, 2022. Can't wait to see what you make.